but I am sure that if you're dating multiple suitors and you're not sleeping with them, I don't see how the opposite sex could have an issue with that. If they say, well, I just want pure exclusivity with you on the first date. I think that's good. And not like on the first date, but like if you really genuinely, like me personally, like I went on a date last week and I really love vibe with this person. Yeah, but, but your gold bar is gone, right? <laughs> huh? Your gold bar was already given away for free, right? Yeah. So let's, let's, uh, let us assume virginity is a golden bar. That when you're born... But half this generation, no one's a virgin. Let's say 99% give away the gold bar. Doesn't that make the remaining 1% of gold bars even more valuable? Exactly, but a guy... You, you think that a guy that wants a girl that's a gold bar also has his gold bar? Mm-hmm. But it does- Hang on, hang on, back up. Who cares? But it does- If but- the man who has his gold bar and doesn't have his gold bar... And by the way, for men, it's not a gold bar. For women, it's a gold bar. So it's yeah. a different standard, so it's just yes, not fair. Yes, well, fair. Wait a second. <laughs> Who the hell well, said you're, you fair? You said that women, if you're a virgin, it's a gold bar, men, but if you're a because, guy, it's okay, okay not to listen, be a virgin. The thing, what, here's mm-hmm. what gives things value, what gives the money in your pocket value, what gives that camera value, what gives the screen value, is the fact that people desire it. Mm-hmm. As long as women desire men who don't have a gold bar, men aren't ever going to keep a gold bar because women don't fucking want a gold bar. The distinction is, is that men do. And so that's what makes it valuable. But men I, want a gold bar to satisfy their ego. So? Right. I would say there's like a... Hang on, hang on. Do they want it? Yeah. Okay. Then if they want it, it's valuable, right? Yeah. Then if it's valuable and you gave this really valuable thing away for free and the chick next to you isn't, she's like, nah, that was really dumb. No. Nope. You had a million dollar gold bar and you just gave it to this fucking asshole? What if the guy that wants the gold bar, he gets the gold bar, he has her, everything good to go, but then he's like, oh, she's not a gold bar anymore. Let me go find another one. That's why you wait till marriage. But what if you were married? Because then it's really what if you hard, married? right? Well, what, really what, hard what if you wait till disassociate. marriage and you do it on the first night and you're like, oh, damn, I don't like this bar. Do you think... So, so right let's, on. let's engage with the argument, okay? okay? Do you think that men who marry virgins on their wedding night are more likely or less likely to get divorced? Way less likely. Why would you say that is? Because I'm like, well, damn. Like, I feel like there's more a relationship <laughs> that's time. viable than I virginity, this long, though. Might as well because stay. It's because, no, it's because chastity is directly linked with religion. And so the more religious people are, the more they tend to say chaste. And the thing that keeps their marriage together, those are the men who they value virtue. What if they're not religious? If they're not religious, they still value virtue. And even in those relationships... Is it scientifically tested? Yes. Even in... Well, you don't even have to scientifically (laughs) test it. You can use statistics. True. So even in... I mean, that is science, but it's, it's it's not hard science. Wait. But using statistics, even virgin women who get married to non-virgin men who are secularists still end up staying married longer. Do you think that a man cheating would be a requisite which would lead to divorce? Yes. Well, then they must cheat less, right? You don't know that. Yes, we do know that because we have the statistics on the reason given for divorce. But everybody gets divorced for different reasons. Yes, but But they give a top four reasons. Okay. And infidelity is low on the list. It's usually just partner dissatisfaction. Interestingly enough, men who end up with virgins tend to have the least amount of partner dissatisfaction. What a shock. Like sexually? Yeah, I don't know where this idea comes from that like, and you should know this because of the industry you're in, but all the parts basically work the same way with everybody. They don't really work differently between different people. Every man's penis is essentially designed for every woman's vagina and vice versa. The idea of sexual compatibility is not really a thing. Most people historically, right, they got married without ever having sex. And they stayed married their whole lives. And most of them had good sex lives because we're designed to have sex with each other. We're designed that way. Mm-hmm. You can sense the tension too without doing it, like the chemistry. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah, literally, that, that could be possible. I could be super attracted to a guy. I think he's super, like, you know, cute, but he's just, like, not, like, I just don't vibe with him, like, con- like you know, sexually. Yeah, what are you comparing it to, though, if he's your only partner? Right, so that's, that's why that's they would stay past. married longer because they have nothing to good. do. That's a good. This thing. is bad. Why? That's it's a not good bad. Thing. Well, I mean, it's like if there's better out there, like no, sexually. Oh, but that's not the so way. they should she all. So I they should all be a bunch of skanks because they no, could no, no, find no. Mr. Right no, no, penis. No, 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 not at all. What I was <laughs> arguing no. is that I feel like the, or at least from my perspective, the reason why a man 
would want a, a virgin is because the virgin doesn't have anything to compare it to, so there's no competition. Oh. So would you advise a man then to go to his virgin soon-to-be wife and say, you know, honey, you should go out and fuck at least 10 guys before we get married so you know that I'm the right one. Then what would but you advise you him to do? Up marriage lasting longer, and I feel like it's just not relevant to the factors of a marriage lasting longer just because she's only had one sexual partner, you know? What? I don't think it's relevant because... There's like, I feel like I've heard from women that were married or were in a committed relationship with one guy that like they weren't sexually satisfied, but they stayed with them anyway. You know what I mean? Oh, so it's like, darn. I feel like they, I mean, wait, they were with the person that they loved and they weren't sexually satisfied. Those sons of bitches. You realize that hedonism and self pleasure is not the purpose of life. And if you get married to somebody, make a commitment to them. Why would it be a problem for you to keep a commitment because you feel like you're unsatisfied in a single area of life? Right, and that's the that's the complicated part. That's why, for me, at least me personally, like I would never marry someone that I didn't know I had sexual chemistry with. You know what I mean? Like that's why I do think you can have sex before marriage yeah, because if you, I feel like sexual chemistry is very important in the relationship. I don't now, feel like sexual marriage, chemistry is hard between people. You pretty girl, agree. you handsome guy, they have, you it mostly you, works out. I don't out. agree because, You don't I mean, agree. Right. You can imagine it. You can feel that. Because sure. I've liked sex better with this person, but maybe not with this guy, you know, but it's like. Yeah, but this is because you're making a comparison between many guys. Assume for a second that you had what you consider right this second to be mediocre sex, but you were a virgin, right? And to you, it was the best feeling thing on planet Earth. <laughs> Absent the comparison. Warlord 69, you were donated $69. Ladies, understand, once you are on the internet, it's lights, camera, action. You are never truly valuable once you've given up the controls to your brain. V joke in your reality. What does that mean? Thank you, Warlord. <laughs> He's just saying that once you put news of yourself out, it's forever. Okay. Uh, right. Or you have sex with guys on camera, it's forever. But anyway, so back to this. Assuming for a second you were a virgin. Mm -hmm. You married a man. You had what you would right now consider to be mediocre sex with that man. But it was still the best feeling thing you'd ever had because... There was nothing There was nothing to. else to compare right. it to. How the world could you, in the world could you make a reference... That, oh, it could be better over here. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I was saying is that I feel like from what I've heard from a lot of women that are divorced, they didn't have the level of sexual chemistry that they want. I, I don't know. What would you think? I mean, I, I like the perspective of a virgin person right now that only had one partner because I don't have that perspective, so I don't know. Well, what virgins report is that they're highly satisfied in their sexual relationships. Good That's what them. they report when they're asked. Good for them. Okay, let's say it's a virgin and, you know, a guy, whatever, they get married and everything, and they're just together for 10 years. What happens in the, if in those 10 years they're just like, oh, I just don't want to be with you anymore? What happens if you're not a virgin and that happens? Because you're saying that people who are virgins last longer in their marriages. Mm -hmm. So what happens if that's not the case? What happens with anybody if it's not the case? No, but I'm directing it specifically to your comment on saying that yeah, they but it, last it, longer it's a, it, I'm explaining to you why it's a nonsensical circular question. So what if I retain my virginity and then have the same outcome as if I didn't retain my virginity? That's what I'm saying. This, that's not different. Yeah, no, it's different. So again, let us assume that we have nine virgins, mm -hmm. one non-virgin. Okay? Now let's say... It's, it's worse than these, you know, the non-virgin, the outcome is worse than the nine. Now we take two of those virgins who also get married and they have the same outcome as that non-virgin. Which group is still more likely to have better outcomes? The virgins. The virgins. So even if it were true that some virgins have bad outcomes similar to those who are not virgins at marriage, most virgins still have better outcomes than them, right? Okay, that's if, you know, men, like the man that's marrying that woman cares about their virginity, you know, their specific right. virginity. Because, like, say, not every man views it as being the gold bar. You yeah. know what I mean? Do you think that most men, if they could take you, they could take you, these are your romantic partners, but they could take away every man you've ever fucked before them, would they? 
What about you? Do you think any romantic partner that you have who's a man? That's a good question. If they could unfuck you, would they do it? Like you're saying, oh, like, so it, well, but doesn't that make would them insecure? Would they do it? I, I guess, but like, well, then, then the question really doesn't the question now, now seem okay, like okay, but, then, that, but then that's an insecure that's man. Insecure. How Why is, is it insecure? insecure? Because you don't want her to have any comparison no. except to you. What if that's not the reason? That doesn't make sense. Then what's Why? the reason? Wait, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait, the what was our last chance? No, no. Have you have you ever had a traumatic sexual relationship? Like you dated guy. Hang on, hang on. Traumatic. A man doesn't want a woman because she has ten kids. Mm-hmm. He's insecure, right? But that brings kids Hang into on. it. He's insecure or not insecure? No, because there's 10 children that he would have uh, to be a wait, father wait to. Wait a second, wait That's a second. not the same Hang as... He's not insecure if she has 10 kids, right? No. Not, not insecure? Or he's insecure if he won't date her because she has 10 kids? I definitely think that he has a, a spot to be insecure simply because he still would have to deal with her, the past baby Why daddies. would that be insecurity, though? But your, your, your question is, would a man be insecure if a lady has 10 kids? No. Nope. My question is, if a man didn't want a lady with 10 kids, does that make him insecure? No. He just has self-respect and he doesn't feel comfortable being with a woman who has multiple kids with different guys. So he has a preference. Right. And part of self-respect... Is preference. His ...has a high body count. That's not insecurity. That's perfect. Not. The woman that... Simple. Are sleeping around are risking having kids. It's kind of almost the same thing. The only difference is the actual part of having the kids. Like mm -hmm. the woman with 10 kids with different men, it's kind of the same thing with the woman that sleeps around because she's still risking pregnancy with all of those men the same way a woman was willing to get pregnant by all those men and have those kids. I think it comes down to that. It's just unattractive that a woman would disrespect herself because respect is attractive to be willing to risk pregnancy, STIs and all, and just be willing to be that intimate with someone when they just met them or without certain requirements. It doesn't, it's just, it's basic psychology when someone- Well, not only that, but think about it. Let's insert yourself in a man's shoes for a second. And on your wedding night, you say, this really valuable thing, I saved it for you. How good of a feeling would that be for a man? I know, but we're already married. But what about a girl, like, though? Okay, we're but not, like, we're we're not, we're not adding. That. Hang on, hang on. Engage with what I'm asking first and then change the conditionals. That's fair, right? From a man's perspective, let's say you're a man. Tomorrow mm -hmm. you wake up and you're a man, okay? Right. And a woman on your wedding night says, I saved my virginity for you because that's how much I love you, mm -hmm. right? Would, would you not be extremely pleased and happy with that outcome? I mean, she's marrying me. She chose to say yes to the marriage. That would already be enough for me as a man. But she kept her virginity and told you those words. I kept myself chaste to give this to you. Because she felt like I was the right person to get How would that not make you feel like a million bucks as a man? I don't know, isn't it an argument? No, no, but I'm saying, in my mind, I don't view virginity as valuable. I'm, like, I'm not asking you to view it from your perspective. I'm asking you this. Assume for a second that I crammed a man's brain into your head. And then your physiology changed tomorrow. And now you're in a man's body. And now suddenly your value structure and the way you think of things change. And in your head... You crave women who have a low body count. You marry a woman who's a virgin, and on her wedding night, she says these words to you. I saved my virginity for you. Nobody else ever got this but you, because that's mm -hmm. how much I love you. How could a woman ever give you, the man, a better gift than that? I mean... What I, else could she give that could ever be more valuable than that? What saying else? Saying yes to marriage. A kid. A child saying yes to marriage. I feel like that means more than a virginity. No, I feel yeah, like if I anybody who's a man can give you a kid who's fertile, which is most men, yeah. right? You can only give your virginity to one man. I know right. Who. So if that is the case, you saying, well, I chose to marry you and I'm fertile so I can accept your seed. You can do that with any man. Correct. But you can only give your virginity to one. And if you say, I gave this to you. This one man, he's the only one who's ever going to have that. No other man ever will. How could you give him something more valuable than that? There's nothing else you could ever exchange to him 
that couldn't be replaced with something else. You couldn't give him a car that he couldn't replace. You couldn't give him a gold bar he couldn't replace. You couldn't give him anything that could not be replaced except that. That's the only thing you could ever give a man that he can't replace. But how mm-hmm. long is that high going to last? Like, oh, I, I took her virginity. Like, I feel great. Right, how dude, long is that feeling Took her virginity of last? your wife? Hopefully for life. <laughs> I don't know. I she don't gave know. you I the most like, for me, valuable thing she had ever but, that she'll ever have. But again, like, I mean, I don't know. I just, I, I just, I don't see like what's valuable about virginity. It's not. It's you know not what, I mean? what like, you I'm not see. understanding. Again, right. what determines value? It's what people but want. But it's like that's Scarcity. the society view. Yeah, it's what people want, right? No, I believe yeah. But the society. Well, you know what? Let me ask you. I don't know what gives what gives money value. I don't even know. <laughs> They've been totally reasonable this entire episode. I actually don't uh, know what that. Warlord, thank thank you for the uh, TTS, man. I do want to move it on a little bit. Going around the table, I got to get through some of my commonly asked questions here at the end. Would you rather be stuck in the woods with a random man or a random bear? <laughs> Starting with you. <gasps> A random man. But, really? I thought you were going to say bear. That surprised me. No. No. A random man, because then he could build us a shelter, and then he would go get food for me. And then, like, if there was a bear, he would just kill it. Okay. Reasonable response. No. <laughs> no. 